what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we will continue with our fire of inspirations playlist and today we will discuss on something very crucial for our spiritual practices because the video today is on who is actually a guru well this is a question that is reverberating in everybody's mind whenever they see videos on spirituality or on religion and before beginning as i say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there to save you <laughs> and if you have not subscribed to the channel then subscribe to it and if you like this video then click the thumbs up and share it with your loved ones near and dear ones or with those who are searching for a guru <laughs> and if you like to do some donations for the sustenance of the channel then you can go to paypal the link is below and do it or else continue watching the video all right guru 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 there is this it has become a buzzword these days <laughs> who is a guru actually this question was once asked to a great guru. <laughs> I will not tell the name of the guru. If you are intelligent enough or if you know some gurus, then you can maybe figure out <laughs> about whom I am talking. This guru was once asked by the great George Harrison of Beatles. If you do not know who is George Harrison, then please Google it. I am sure you will definitely know. The Beatles, the famous music band of the 70s, 80s, George Harrison. He asked to a, person, to a guru that, who do you consider as a guru? How do you know somebody is a guru? Or technically, well, guru is the ninth house of astrology because he takes you to God. But what is the number one symptom of who is a guru? How will you know? Does he know a lot of shlokas from the Gita or from the Bhagavatam or from the Upanishads or from the Vedas? Or, or maybe he knows so many stories. <laughs> or maybe he pronounces Sanskrit perfectly. Or maybe he has too many disciples, too many followers. How do you define? <laughs> so George Harrison asked this question. And then this Swamiji replied, One who is addicted to God is Guru. <laughs> Let me repeat. Guru is one who is addicted to God. What do you mean by addiction? <laughs> addiction is something which you do helplessly. You are dragged. You have no control, right? Even if you have, you, you fail to exercise control. It is. It has become very natural for you to do it. If somebody is a drug addict, for him, taking drugs has become very natural. Even if he wants or he doesn't, the hand goes to the drugs packet or whatever you call it. I'm sorry, I don't know about drugs. <laughs> Thank God I don't know. <laughs> he does it without anybody telling him or without anybody giving him any signal. He does it naturally, as if it is natural for him. Similarly, a person who is addicted to smoking, he can smoke 10 packs a day or 20. I have seen people smoking up to 20. <laughs> Addiction means you do it at any cost and you cannot stay without it. And the same addiction is there when a boy and a girl fall in love with each other. In the beginning days, in the initial honeymoon phase, in the romantic period. That is why the songs of Bollywood, the Hindi movies of India, are always based on 
things like oh your beautiful eyes your hair your sari your smile your teeth your cheeks <laughs> these these are symptoms of addiction when a man is addicted to a woman then he always keeps thinking of her he keeps telling of her you will always hear him telling oh today she did this she said that she behaved like this she is like this she is like that and similarly when a girl is obsessed with a man or a boy then she will always be thinking of him what he is doing whom is he meeting is he meeting any other girl <laughs> <laughs> what is he eating what which chocolate will he bring for me today when will we go to the restaurant to eat yes she is always thinking so these are the different symptoms of addiction similarly a guru is one who is addicted to god what do you mean by this it means that whenever he will meet somebody he will only speak of god nobody else he will not speak of the us president what he did he will not speak of what is going on in the germany's elections which are hap- which are happening now he will not speak on who will win the elections in india in 2019 will it be narendra modi or some other party he will not speak what is happening to angelina jolly and brad pitt's relationship are they together or have they separated <laughs> he will not speak if sachin tendulkar is playing cricket anymore he will not speak about is ashwarya rai going to be pregnant for the next time <laughs> or not he is not interested in all this because his satisfaction and his divinity is coming from some other place so that is why he is obsessed about something else which nobody is obsessed about <laughs> so these are the symptoms of somebody who is qualified to be a guru one who is addicted to god addicted means 24 hours he is addicted he only thinks of god nobody else nothing nobody only god and whatever is internally externally it will be visible because as i said whenever a man loves a woman what he does he will not just keep it with himself he will go and bring flowers for her he will make the best arrangements in her birthday in the anniversary yes to make her happy to see a smile in her face like the way i am smiling <laughs> and similarly when a mother loves a child she will do everything anything and everything for the child making food doing this doing that giving the tiffin box yes similarly externally there will be symptoms which will be visible in the person who is obsessed with topics related to god and spirituality he will only be talking about all those things whoever he meets he will try to connect him to god whoever he meets it can be by any means he might tell that person that please read this gita or read the bible read the quran he may be from any religion it doesn't matter <laughs> but the test of somebody is how much addicted or how much obsessed is he about spiritual topics and about god and his activities suppose somebody somebody is obsessed with lord krishna then what he will do whoever he meets just like mirabai used to do <laughs> mirabai is one of the great saints from india for the westerners who may not know about her in india most of them know about her she always used to take krishna's name and she was obsessed she was madly in love <laughs> <laughs> so she always used to keep singing songs about krishna oh krishna when will you come <laughs> then there was another great shabri from ramayan who waited so many years for lord ram to come their faith will be unflinching 
And Matang Muni told her that, Wait here, Lord Ram will come. That time, you will serve him personally. <laughs> and everybody told her, Your Guru just lied, he is not coming. See, thousands of years have passed. But then one fine day, Lord Ram and Lakshman came. And then Shabri went back to the spiritual world. She obtained moksha. And his, his or her overall life will be ordained in such a way, which will assist every moment of his life towards the spiritual goal. That is what is the definition of a guru. He will not he will sleep on time, he will get up on time. Why? He wants to do go to the gym on in the morning. No. <laughs> so that he can do his spiritual practices in the morning because the Brahma Muhurata time is considered to be the best time. One and a half hours before the sunset, uh, before the sunrise. That is considered to be the best time for any spiritual practice. He will thoroughly utilize it and whenever he is cooking something he will think oh will God like if I put more sugar or will he like if I put less sugar whenever he is making roti he will think will God like round shaped roti or a triangle shaped <laughs> yes these are the symptoms right whoever he meets he will be talking about God that God did this God did that and whatever he sees in this world, that is called Shastra Chakshu. He will have the Shastra Chakshu. Shastra Chakshu means eye of the scriptures. Whenever he sees a dog, what he will think? He will not think that he this animal, this body is there and there's a dog. He will not think like that. He will only think that yes, there is a living entity who is a part and parcel of God. Because the Bhagavad Gita says a perfected soul sees everybody equally. He does not differentiate between an elephant, a dog or an animal or a woman. For him there is no difference between who is a man, who is a woman. Everybody is the same. <laughs> he sees everybody on the level of the soul. And because of that he will not discriminate against anybody. Alright, there you go. Who is a guru? The answer is, one who is most addicted to God is a guru. Okay, if you have any questions, queries or comments, then please let me know. Or if you want a professional one-to-one -one consultation, then please contact me in my email or in my WhatsApp below. Okay, until next time, bye-bye, see you.